Yeah, it's just in a fucking Avengers problem. Did it not download 3 and 4? I don't know what the issue is. Because, so you have to like stay, you have to keep the game open in order for it to download shit. Which is mm -hmm. annoying as hell. Which I have fast internet, so it's not like the end of the world, but. Yeah. It's still annoying. It's not like my poor friend from Australia. Oh, it's always a struggle for him. I feel so sorry. Well, at least you can download while you're still playing, so that's nice. Mm hmm. You know what? Let's see how fast I can download it. Uh, Halo MCC. Yeah, I, I had it on my computer before, it's just, um, well, yeah, my graphics card, I had to reinstall Windows, so. Oh, yeah. Wait for your graphics card? Issues with the driver. Oh, that makes sense. It, it destroyed, it, 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 everything got so bad that I had to reinstall Windows. Damn. Well, on top of that, I also had to kill the the small overclock that I had was, on my processor. That was for the thirty seventy. Yeah. What the fuck? It was. It was one of those just like just just cascading bad time. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh no! So my friends and I have been doing a thing, cra doing a, a crazy thing. You are known for being crazy. <laughs> so I started using um uh, what's it called again? Um, we started using um. Uh, soundboards. Oh, nice. Hey, Rumble. So, yeah. You can't promise anything great. Shit. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I never did. Like, the peak of my multiplayer days was definitely Halo 3 back in, like, 2007, 2008. But uh, I was so adverse to the idea of spamming grenades, but goddamn, does it work. And, like, you should always be doing that. Mm. If you have it in your toolbox, you might as well. Absolutely. Hey, everything, everything, ev do everything you can to win. Mm -hmm. How do you feel you about people that are, no, that are zoners you. and, um... In fighting games, I like just like super spam projectiles. Well, <clears throat> it's part of a legitimate strategy, um, and there's legitimate ways around it that you have to, that you have to learn. Um, so that's you know can't those get the, those. Them, that's their issue, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, a lot of them is actually quite easy to get around, especially in games like Street Fighter Five. The, the the where if 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 you're talking about like Street Fighter Two. Like um, and like uh, and like um, the Alpha series, Street Fighter Four as well. Well, less Street Fighter Four, but um, but yeah, like that that shit's hard to deal with, absolutely. But like in Street Fighter Five, just about every single character has an anti fireball move. Like if you can't get, if you can't deal with it, that's your fault. And also, also like. Also, respect to the zoner who's, been able, who's able to do it in Street Fighter V. Have there been any instances where it is just, like, something's unbalanced? Um... In... In... In 5? Uh... I'll, 
not that often. Um, there were like, like um, this the this character Abigail when he first came out. He was a bit of a problem, and they've toned him down. Same with this character G. Um, where they like require you to be so good in a way that just doesn't make any sense. Right. Ooh, this is taking a while. It shouldn't take this long, but looks like it is, so. It's a shame they never made a full game out of the Halo 2 anniversary engine. At least Halo 2 Anniversary is better than Halo 1 Anniversary. Yes. Because it, it's much more faithful to that original art style. Absolutely. Like, Absolutely. I still, I still prefer the new graphics overall of Halo Anniversary, but it's it's not the same style. It's a lot of yellows. It's Green. a lot more... Is it, is it weird to say cartoonish? No, absolutely not. For me, um, Halo 1 is going for such a specific... Like, um, like Aliens aesthetic, right? Yeah, like, such a specific art style that when they drop it, like, like it ruins, like, level design. Because they drop the art style, you know? Right. Um, when with Halo 2, it's just Halo 2 but looks better. <laughs> This is fantastic. I am not doing good. Uh, Ramen Nomad, I do believe this now has console and PC crossplay. I believe that's... Mm -hmm. there's. I don't know if it's an option or if it's just hard, but there's an option to um, like restrict by input to the device. So if you don't want to play with mouse users, you don't have to. But you can opt in as a PC player to like exclusively use a controller. Much like Call of Duty. Although with uh, with this, you can still play with the mouse users. I believe Call of Duty is. Or no, maybe yeah. Because I I, th I think Call of Duty like. It, they definitely I, segregate I, I, I it to it, controllers. So yeah. yeah. Which I was thinking about this like the new consoles, like if you just play games like Call of Duty. Or like, or like Fortnite or something. Like, they if have, you get uh, like a PS keyboard support. Yeah, yeah. Like if you get a PS5 and like a 120 hertz monitor and a keyboard and mouse, like you're you're playing the PC version. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this game's gotten so much better over the years, especially since when it first came out. It was a little bit of a mess. Okay, so that round didn't go great. But yeah, like even this match yeah, round against do? Uh, controller people. Yeah, what what rounds do? All right. Yeah. Um. But like, like games for like Halo, Gears, Apex, uh, Call of Duty. I think it's pretty fairly balanced between. I was actually posting on Twitter about this. I think it's pretty fairly balanced between like whatever input you're using. Because they have a, mm -hmm. they have a strong sense of uh, aim assist, but yeah, like like if they were to allow, uh, controller and mouse people to play like siege together, that that would be a total fucking nightmare because siege does not have aim assist, uh, for for combat Absolutely. at least it has it for like the, uh, co-op <clears throat> AI mode, but that's it. Yeah. Slayer. Unlike um, unlike fighting games where it's all preference, it's literally all preference. Yeah. What do you want to play? Do you want to play that? No, you're here. Does it make you better? Does it make you worse? Well, you, go, you generally go with the. That's not stick, true. Right? That's not true. Me personally, I prefer stick just because I like the way the buttons laid out. Though there are definitely times where I'm like. <sighs> I wish I wish I stuck with pad because it's so much easier to transport. What is transport? 
Oh, you mean like physically moving the item? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I thought you, I thought it was like some fucking fighting game. <laughs> No, no, no. Whoa. Like, I could, like, if I wanted to, like, visit my mom and still play on my laptop, like, you know, yeah. like, I can't do that. <laughs> See, I'm thinking too hard over here. Um, shit. Yeah, well, last, uh, well, actually, there is this thing called a, a hitbox. Um, it's a, it's, it's a relatively newer controller type for, for fighting games. Um, and it's, it, it's, um, it's been, it's made waves because it's, it, it actually, it actually is the, the best way to play. Oh, fuck, fuck. oh. <laughs> that was so stupid, I shouldn't have survived. I deserve to die for that. Yeah, like, um... I, I know for fighting games, like, I don't play them often, but when I do, I always prefer the, the pad because I like the... I like using the D-pad. Yeah, just having the, the full array of buttons feels really good. But yeah, like... But yeah, the, make, uh, the hitbox is so good. That if they don't have a certain type of protection on them, you get um they're they're banned. Please don't blow me up. Because it allows you to do things that aren't intended. Right. Don't hit my teammate. Oh my god! You killed Kyle. <laughs> How did I even sh No, that wasn't me. It was someone else. I was about to say, I didn't even shoot anything. Just gonna there's no more. God, there's no more Xbox Live name than fucking Kyle. <laughs> Kyle, what, what's this dude's name? MLG something? I think it's OMG MLG. MLG LOL. MLG LOL, that was it, yeah. Oh, what the f Oh, Brad's up there. Brad's right next to Kyle on the list. <laughs> Where's Chad at? Such, like, Kyle has such strong. Kyle on Xbox Live has such strong. You gonna punch um, some drywall, drink some monsters. Yep, drink some monster energy drink and say some slurs. Yep, say some racist shit. Uh, fuck, fucking Banshee. Can Banshee shoot Banshee bombs in multiplayer? Too? Uh, or is it just a regular I don't, fire? No. I'd like to think so. I, I but, don't want them to be able to right now. Yeah. But the fact that they have it makes me think maybe not. Shit. I'm your friend, maybe. Maybe not. Shit. One. Double kill. Double kill. Nice. Remember, Rama Nomad, you remember in the old times all the gamer tags were XX Gamers Girl, Goku, New Phone. Sniper Elite Wolf Ninja Assassin 420 Chronic. <laughs> oh fuck, now they're just tossing shit. Speaking of Goku, I kinda wanna play Dragon Ball Fighters. I still have yet to play it. Shit. New character came out Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. How many characters in there are just like some variety of Goku? In one shape or another. There's actually a better question. A better question. Yes. How many are it? Oh, so, no. So there is a person. So the Japanese voice actress for Goku, I forget her first name. Right? I remember her last name is Nazawa. Um, uh, not only plays Goku, but also plays Gohan in Goten 
and Bardock. Really? Yeah. So the real question is how many characters does Niz Nizau, uh, Nizau... I forgot, I messed up her name already. <laughs> how many characters does she voice? That's the, the better question, at least to me. To Goku. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so here we go, ready? We're about to go down the list, which I have in my brain because I'm I'm broken. Um, it's Goku, Goku Super Saiyan, Goku Super Saiyan Blue, um, um, uh, uh, Vegito, Gogeta Blue, Super Saiyan Four Gogeta, uh, um, GT Goku, uh, Go Tanks, Gohan. So right now we're at nine. Um. Wait, what's uh, the Bardock. what's the Gogeta version from GT? Super Saiyan Four Gogeta. And then what's the Super version? Because like that's not Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. Man, I have missed out on Super. I've seen I've seen like the first twenty episodes, and that's about it. Um, honestly, honestly, if you want, if you want, I I can tell you exactly what you should watch. Yes. All right. All right, watch the first, watch the two, watch the first two super movies. Okay. Yep, and Wait, then is it like the first super movie just like basically a retelling of like the first ten episodes anyway? Other way around. Other way around. The first ten episodes are a retelling of the movie. Oh, okay. Yeah. Does it? Which is the movie is just basically the exact same footage, or is it like all new? It's all new, but it's it's Not it's worse because it's yeah. Not the it's same worse budget. and it's. Not the same budget, and the story the story was stretched out over a bunch of episodes, so it's the, the pacing is worse. I did like seeing Vegeta realize how outclassed he is, and just having to, like, do a comedy mm -hmm. routine. Oh, yeah. I do like the personality of Super. It reminds me a lot more of a Dragon Ball. Mm-hmm. Uh, Z. Late Z, yeah. Um, so yeah, um, so yeah, watch the first two movies. Uh, you what what's in between the movies really doesn't matter what's in between the movies? movies watch the first two movies and then you can watch the um uh the 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 universal tournament arc and then the goku black arc and then it's the tournament of power arc what episodes are those roughly um i can tell you when they start real quick Halo 3. So yeah, episode... So yeah, Universe 6 is episode 28. And you're basically good up until episode 131. Oh, sweet. They did download and then, And then after 131, you watch Broly. Mm -hmm. Which Broly is... Broly is legitimately one... Is the best... I... <sighs> It's, it's almost an it's almost a full hour of just really really well animated action. It's a, it, it's like a full hour of like Sakuga. Is the story like decent or is it mainly just like you're there for the action? Um, the story. How do I say? Of what's there is actually very 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 good. Though it is, it is mostly action. It is mostly action. Um, this might be a controversial opinion, but I went back and like reread all of. And, and I take this with a grain of salt because I read it. I didn't go and rewatch the series because that's, mm -hmm. that's so much more of a time sink. Um, is it controversial to say that Dragon Ball Z in particular doesn't necessarily have like a great story aside from like maybe the. The Namek arc. Actually, no, I take that back. I like the Namek arc where they're like mm -hmm. trying to find the Dragon Balls or whatever. And then I like the Cell arc with like the whole Trunks. Um, mm hmm. Mm hmm. No, Trunks and not the past, the future. Yeah. Um, but the, like, generally, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't like like the, 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 I guess it's just like a shonen trope, just like, oh no, I can't beat mm -hmm. this enemy. Let me go train. So, now I can beat the enemy. To be fair, that's, it's not, 
it's not really a trope for Dragon Ball because they started the trope. Uh, <laughs> 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 you know? Because you gotta remember, like, the... The, the the like the cell arc was in like 92 <laughs> it's very old um but um but absolutely absolutely and i will also say that at least in my experience damn hit <laughs> halo 4 <laughs> so fucking different whoa <laughs> it's just so different all of a sudden <laughs> oh what was i saying um, I think the, the, the big parts of the, the show, of the, the, the big parts of the story that I think most people have issues with and fault is usually, um, um, editor interference. Right. Though Toriyama is just, is flying on the seat of his pants, especially during the Cell and Boo arc. Uh, Ramana Met says the story actually makes you care about, uh, Broly and that is shocking. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I, I, have, I have no experience with with, uh, with Broly whatsoever, aside from like Tenkaichi Budokai, or was it Budokai Tenkaichi? Well, you see, you gotta understand that Broly is max. Broly's power is maximum. But is he a god? Or doesn't he? Um, oh no, doesn't he get like blue Super Saiyan hair or something? No. He has his own special transformation. He's just that cool. He gets his own. He's called. Thing. He's called the legendary Super Saiyan. Oh, so it's, it's a the, literal name. Mm, he like. The point of Broly is that you thought the legend was Goku, but it actually is Broly. So why is he an evil asshole? Um. Well, originally, in the first, in the original movie. Or did they like oh, retcon it? Oh, absolutely, they changed it because the movies aren't canon. The characters are canon, but the movies aren't canon. And so, how in the original wait, how does that movie, work? where um, the characters exist in in the universe, but the events of the movies don't happen. That seems like a contradictory statement. So, like, so like, like in the in the cooler movie, which is Frieza's brother. Um, um, he has a lieutenant called Salza. Um, and, you know, like, in-universe, Salza's the only person that knows Captain Ginyu's original form. Right. But the events of the cooler movie never happened, so the character of Salza has never been technically introduced. Okay. You understand what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Is there a reason why none of the movies are canon? Well, I, most of the movies aren't canon. Um, the super movies are canon. Like, so yeah, so so Battle of God, Revival of F, and um, Broly, uh, Broly, the the newest Broly movie are canon. Okay. But all like the the '90s movies aren't canon. That's because it was it was it was it was the time anime movies were just like, hey, why don't we just pluck the characters in the middle of this story? And place them in this in this thing. Um, but yeah, so the original reason why Broly hated Goku was that um, when they were babies, Goku's crib was next to Broly's, and Goku <laughs> cried all the time. <laughs> really? Yes. Is that the reason? Tell me you're fucking with me. No, that's the actual reason. What? The Oh, that's the actual reason. It's so funny. That's so dumb. Mm -hmm. Broly's dad hates Vegeta because Vegeta's dad, who was you know the king of the Saiyans, uh, this is like um, a Dragon Ball storyline. Not even because <laughs> the king of the Saiyans um, thought saw Broly as a threat. Because of his because uh, of his natural power and tried to kill both of them, right? Right. So it's like, okay, that's a legitimate reason to be angry. And Broly's reason <laughs> is that Goku cried as a baby, so he screams Kakarot. Rama Nomad says, "Can vouch when Broly sees Goku goes into a blood rage all because of the crying." Like, does mm -hmm. he like specifically say that's the reason? Like, 
I'm yes. going to kill you because you cried. Well, no, he doesn't say it because when he gets there, he's so angry. All he can say is Kakarot. Is, is it like a flashback in his head that? that yeah, shows? yeah, yeah. They show, they show you, they show you the crib and Goku crying and like, and like Baby Broly being annoyed. <laughs> the next crib. <laughs> this sounds like a shit post. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> oh. Oh, but in the new, in the new thing, he doesn't hate Goku. Only so his, his dad deal. hates. So it's his only his cannon. Only his dad hates Vegeta, and his dad is forcing him to fight. Okay. And so, okay, that's perfect. So is Broly actually canon now? Broly is canon now. Yes. Slayer. Does he wind up dead at the end, or is he like, I'm a sword. good guy now? Um, why don't you watch and find out? Man, I have so much shit I need to watch. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. No, he's <laughs> I, I, he's I need, he's alive. He's alive and a good guy. Okay, I've been telling myself I need to like go through and watch all those CG Resident Evil movies because apparently they they get real dumb, like fucking mm -hmm. like John Wick style gun kung fu action scenes. Yeah, yeah, I've seen the one where it's um Chris and what's his name rolling on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's Le one with Leon just like uh, mm -hmm. shooting hell with zombies with just, with just his pistols. Like this, this looks so beautiful in like the best dumbest possible way. Oh yeah, the reason why Frieza wants the Dragon Balls is fantastic. Why does he want them? So Frieza wants the Dragon Balls. Um, talking about like Namek Frieza? Or? In the in the in the in the new movie, which hey guess uh, Fri hey guess Wait, what the F in Revival of F stands for? <laughs> Wait, so does Frieza become like a good guy? No. 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 Doesn't he fight like with Goku like like yes. on the same side? For the tournament of power, because the the because the the losing tournament, because the, uh, the universe that loses in the tournament of power gets erased. Okay. Um. Um. So Frieza so helps. It's a reluctant alliance. Yeah, and, and even at the end of the tournament of power, there's a part where like Frieza's like, where um Whis gives Frieza his life back, and Frieza's like, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm still gonna be evil. <laughs> You guys know that, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Goku's like, and we'll be there to stop you, Frieza. <laughs> He's like, okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, the reason why Frieza wants the um the Dragon Balls is that so. Uh, yeah, I really need to check he, out those Resident Evil movies. He he needs to be he needs to be he wants to be taller. Really. He wants to be taller. He wants, but it can't be too much because he wants to make sure it looks like he's growing. <laughs> Does Super just like hardcore dial in into the comedy? Oh, oh absolutely, man. absolutely. And then even and someone even says like, even someone says like, well, why don't you just why don't you just stick in your second form like your father? And Frieza goes, well, yeah, it's ob that's obvious and it's weaker. I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I always thought his third form looked kind of cool. Yeah. Xenomorph. Really? But yeah, Broly movie's fantastic. Wait, how many forms does Cooler have? Uh, Cooler just has two. No. Then why is he posed to be, like, stronger than Frieza? Um... Or he just never had the chance to show his final form. No, he has. So I think technically the form that we see him is supposed to be the equivalent of Frieza's final form, and then he has a form beyond that. Okay. But you only see him in the two forms. Okay. Um, and I think um, the whole thing is that um, Frieza's King Cold, King Cold just favored Frieza more. Um, and just gave Frieza everything that he wanted. <laughs> and Cooler didn't really get that much. Does Cooler ever have, like, any relevance past his non-canon movie, I guess? 
Um, he's a pretty good character in Dragon Ball Fighter. Uh, um, we're I'm me and my friends are hoping that the next one they make canon is cooler. Okay. Cause that'll be dope. All I know is fucking Budokai Tenkaichi had some hard ass boss fights with mm. all non canon characters. I'm like, you aren't even real. Why do I care? I remember in the first Budokai Tenkaichi, the fight against the Ozaru Vegeta. Oh god, that is so god. That was awful. so hard. I can't believe I actually beat it. I rented that game and I beat it. I remember all I had. Well, not all. It was a struggle, but like my only oh, that was so sad. was like charge up and like hope your Kamehameha lands because otherwise you're mm -hmm. fucked. How could they release that like that? That was so fucking absurd. It was a different time. At least you had loading screen mini games. True. But yeah. There are parts of Super that are really good and parts of Super that aren't great. Um, like I would say, that, like the Universe Six tournament is okay. The Goku Black arc is meh. Explain Goku Black to me. Like, like it's someone just taking Goku's form. So what it is? So it's. But so by the way, Goku Black is a return of Trunks, uh, future Trunks. By the way, in case you didn't know. Um. So what it is Wait, is that the um Trunks dead? No. Oh, I know no. you're right. Never mind. Yeah. So I'll blast him, but then they give him a fucking beat, so it's okay. Yeah, they heal him, and then he goes back, and then just he absolutely mops the floor with um with the uh, with the um the androids and cell. Okay. Oh, and the, there's the, in the in the in the Goku Black arc, they actually talk about um, uh, he how how he dealt with the Boo arc, um, and it's literally that um, because there was no Vegeta, he just solved it <laughs> in like a day. <laughs> he he just solved it over by turning evil. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's he just killed them and moved on. <laughs> It wasn't that's a problem. A, that's a pretty funny way of just saying, like, yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. At least they're having fun with it. Oh, absolutely. So, yeah, so Goku, so Goku Black um, is, um, so this god who's a Kai in training named Zamasu. Basically, the, he basically has a superiority complex over uh, mortals. And and um, and like his superiority complex is so strong that um, he ends up fighting Goku, and Goku just like you know without even transforming mops the floor with him, right? And that breaks him so much that he's like, I'm gonna I'm gonna eliminate all the mortals. <laughs> I'm gonna take his body because it's stronger. So I'm gonna wish on the Dragon Balls for his body. There's a whole time travel part of it. It's it's crazy. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, but it's there are parts of it that are really fun, but overall I think it's kind of like it's a meh. And then the tournament of power arc is actually very good. Very very good. Super ends really strongly. And then you have Broly, which is I don't even know what to tell you about Broly. Broly is is Broly's me. just good, or is it... Broly's serious? just amazing. Oh, shoot. It's one of those, like, as a Dragon Ball fan, like... Like, it's like, hey, shut up and watch this now. <laughs> Damn. No frickin' radar on this one. Oh, is this for you? See, people yeah. always talk about the Jesus pistol in, in Halo 1. They in Halo 1. Jesus grenades. <laughs> These things are freaking dupes. You can hold so many of them. It's like, why even you 
Oh, I just spawned in a grenade. That's cool. I have Man. a lot of catching up to do with Dragon Ball. Eh, is it feasible to catch up, or is it just like there's so much shit built over the years that it's impossible? Not really. If you finish Z, you have like, like I said, like you have two, you have three movies, and like, like if you really want, like eighty episodes of Super, but most, but even you probably can even do less than that. Like, okay. yeah, it's 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 not bad. It's like um, how like with Naruto, right? Um, oh, dude, I I don't like, like, you, like those fights you can't... are so good in Naruto, but like I mm -hmm. think they like the only feasible way to to go through that series in, like any efficient manner is to basically just read it. Or or um, you 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 thank the fans and watch the the Naruto Kai edit. The Naruto Kai, oh, like Dragon Ball, which Kai. basically. Yeah, which basically they edit down the show so that their um, episodes are the same as um, the manga. like a like a the volumes of manga. So there's seventy there's seventy two volumes I think there are, and there's seventy two episodes of Naruto Kai. That covers the entire series. It covers the entire series, yeah. Damn. That might be. It's, is it like readily available? Um, I I remember finding it very easily. Yeah, once I heard about it, it was pretty easy to find. Okay. And like, um, is uh, Shippuden too. Yep. Oh, you said seventy-two episodes? Uh, well, they're they're long episodes. Okay. They're like they're like hour to hour and a half. Okay. Because yeah, they they cover what they cover oh, everything yeah. that's in the volumes. Yeah. Okay. Um. I think my biggest. Like, this is probably just like a general anime thing, but Naruto is like by far the worst of it. Oh, so absolutely. So many of those episodes are like artificially padded with, here, let, let's do a, let's do a landscape shot. Let's do a long shot and just like slowly mm -hmm. pan in one direction and then have a character slowly talk and describe what's going on. Mm -hmm. Where, when you know, it's fine when you're reading it because it, it goes as fast as you can read. And I like, heard. Like, like, it's supposed to be, this is supposed to be like happening like in characters' heads, like, not even taking up a single second, but like when you're actually watching it, these these people are just standing there formulating their plans. You're like, uh, mm -hmm. what's 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 going on? Yeah, I heard I've heard it's even worse in One Piece. I I've never even gotten into One Piece to be honest. I watched a little bit. I watched some of the um the the four kids dub. Oh no. Uh, when it was on TV. So you know the yayo yo ya yo dreaming, <laughs> uh, but uh. <laughs> Um, but yeah. I realized also, like, because I, I never got into Shipp Shippuden after, like, I really loved Naruto and I didn't understand. And for, like, the longest time, like, you know, since, since you know, looking back, I was like, what stopped me? What is it? And when I was doing my, my retrospective through Naruto Kai and I was looking at um, a, a, a guide on the internet about, like, what episodes are filler or not. And I saw, oh, that's what killed me. There are about two hundred episodes at the end of original Naruto that are not that are filler. Yeah, in a row. After they get through the, um, they go recruit Sonata to be the uh, fifth Hokage mm -hmm. or whatever. They just tack that... on like 30, 40 episodes before they get to like the actual final arc of that original it's story. It's actually like a hundred episodes. Yeah. Is it? Because I. I... Yeah. Like middle school it's me too... kind of remembers like the end of the Tsunade arc is like around like episode 80 or 90 and they waste it's like two 20 years. episodes to get to the Sasuke arc and then they add like another 100 after mm. that. It's two years worth of content um, at the end of Naruto. Jesus Christ. So yeah, what happened? Yeah, so it's literally it's literally um, uh, um, Jiraiya is in Naruto's window in the hospital Telling him, like, hey, I'm going to take you and we'll train for two years, okay? And Naruto's like, okay. And then and then two years of filler happen. And then the, and then the scene happens again. And then they actually leave this time. Jeez. Team Slayer. I, I wouldn't... I, I'm probably going to try to track down the Kai because I, I like the story of Naruto and I enjoy it. 
It, it's literally just the pacing of that anime is fucking god awful. Absolutely, yeah. It's a lot. There's, there's these moments in Kai where like a character is talking, right? And then the camera starts to pan up and music starts to fade in and then hard cut back to them. <laughs> 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 and I'm like, yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, I just skipped some bullshit. I, I think you can probably appreciate it since you're a film person also. I just feel like most people don't even notice like pacing issues. Like, like they can tell oh, yeah. like, something feels like dragged out, but they don't know why. Mm-hmm. I'm glad I absolutely. watched Naruto. I'm, I'm glad I got into Naruto when I was younger, when I didn't notice. Yep, absolutely. Otherwise, otherwise, I would, I would, I, otherwise, I would have noped the fuck out so early. Oh, whoops. That was a bad throw. So I'm glad I've been able to show Naruto to some of my friends who didn't watch it through Kai, because they got... They got the best experience. The, they got the best experience, yeah. And so I'm actually waiting on this... this Essentially, this One Piece Kai, um, it's called One Piece. Um, yeah. Um, but the problem is that they don't, they don't have the beginning finished. They they focus a little too much about um current content from One Piece. Mm -hmm. Well, isn't One Piece like, like still going? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, there's an entire arc right now that they that they they don't have done in the beginning. So the second that arc is like complete, I'll start I'll start watching One Piece because I'm curious. I'm I am curious about One Piece. I always kind of meant to go back to Bleach because um, so I dropped off the anime after like that first mm -hmm. like main arc. Okay. I, I stuck with the manga after, and there's like a very definitive like ending point, which is apparently at the middle point now <laughs> from, from mm -hmm. how far they went. Are you, on. are you talking about Are you talking about um um the final get to get ten show? I have no idea. I, I've forgotten most of it. I, I remember I stopped okay. in the manga because they beat Aizen. Yep. Uh, okay, yeah. He loses his powers or whatever. Yeah, just like, that's the final. It's like, this is a damn good ending. You should stop right now. And then they can. I think they might have even taken a break. And then they, before yeah. they decided to come back. I'm just like, yeah, no, I'm good. This is a pretty damn good ending. I, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's the final get to get ten show. Yeah, yeah. That's where I stopped as well. I was watching it. Um. And I was like, all right, I'm good. Though, though, you know, my friend, no, Nexus, you know, she also, she, she adores Bleach. Um, um, and one of the things that's, that she talks about that I think, I actually think is really cool is um, at the end, uh, basically um, they, they get Ichigo's powers back because they're like, hey man, Ichigo has done so much for us. We should at least try to get him his powers back. And I'm like, that's a that's a cute reason. I like that. Yeah. I also didn't watch it and stopped at the end of Aizen, so. Yeah. <laughs> you know. The animation of the fight scenes is always good. Oh yeah, the music is fantastic. The Hoiko Mundo arc is really cool. They fight the um, the Aron car. I did think it was funny. They just tried to um, just just use Spanish words for everything. I'm just like, hey, this is a Japanese really cool perspectives look on it. It's like oh, yeah, interesting. and like Chad's awesome. He's a fucking Chad, dude. Yeah, except he never wins. It's sad. Yeah. They they they. <laughs> <laughs> every single win he potentially, every single dub he possibly could get ends up turning into an L. Yeah. It's just, it's so disappointing. <laughs> Chad's so cool, he's so nice and big and strong and his powers are two big buff arms. <laughs> it doesn't even like even, I, I mean I haven't seen the series in forever and uh, granted mm -hmm. when I read slash watched it I was much younger. But I don't yeah. know, from what I recall, like, it was pretty decent representation of, like, a oh, yeah. Hispanic dude in Japan. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like, here's my sombrero and, like, uh, <laughs> Aribo. It was just like, no, he's just a dude. No, he's just if a I remember, guy, he grew dude. up there, didn't he? Mm -hmm. I, I don't remember. 
He might have, he might have not. It's, it's hard to say. Mm hmm. Probably do 30 more minutes of this because I got to eat. Right. We'll do Valorant. Yeah. Did you want to play, buddy? Honey. Uh, it's still downloading. It probably won't happen tonight, unfortunately. I think it's only like 12 gigabytes or something, isn't it? I know, right? But it's it's, it's, it's literally taking forever. Damn. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know why. I have fantastic internet, so. Do you have anything else going on in the background? Nope. Actually, I'll be right back. I use bathroom. Yeah, I was actually kind of surprised Ooh. by the file size. I, I would have assumed it would have been like way bigger. Sorry, what? Oh, for uh, Valorant, the file size. Mm -hmm. I would assume it would have been like way bigger. Mm. Yeah, I I want to say I don't know what to expect because it's gonna be like my first time playing it. Mm -hmm. But it basically seems like Counter Strike gameplay with Overwatch abilities. Yeah. And I'm good at Counter Strike, so hopefully I, and, that translates. It's funny, you've, you've actually tapped, you've actually pretty much tapped me on my anime knowledge. Oh shit. You're like, you're like, with that, both, that's all, just... That's all your knowledge? <laughs> um, it's that, and then we, and then Jojo, and I think that's pretty much it. I'm not, I, I, I kinda, I'm kinda known for hating anime. <laughs> um, I, um, should I just say fucking just watch the, uh, Japanese, uh, or just watch a sub version? Cause I really like the dub. Mm hmm. Um, I mean, I, I think the dub, I think the sub is like really, really good. Um, though, you know, I haven't watched it in a minute just because I read it. Uh, but, uh, yeah, the sub, like, Jotaro is great. Yeah, I've become so much more of a, of a dub person over the years just because I've mm -hmm. gotten lazy, I guess. It's easy for me to multitask with if I can hear what's going on. For me, um, I pick it. I pick dub over sub. I have. I. I, I actually kind of have like a, like a kind of a like a strong uh, like line because like like you have to be in order to make a good sub or a good dub rather. You have to. You have to be uh, okay with um, changing words. Right. Yeah, you have to be have okay. Literal translation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like one of the dubs I've been re I, uh, not recent. It's been a minute, but I've been wa I was watching. It, I need to return to is Lupin the Third. And then. Um. Um, and there's a line. Where someone says, where they're, in, they're in that precarious situation, and someone asks Lupin, do you have a plan C? Um, and Lupin says, turn around so I can pull one out where the last one came from. Right. Uh, that, that's obviously not a Japanese joke, you know? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and the show is significantly better for it. You have to be... You have to translate for the intent. Or yes. Effect. Yes, and I think a lot of anime, a lot of anime don't, and that's what causes so many dubs to not be great. Have you ever watched or um, Full Metal Alchemist? Yes. Yeah, I think that's that is an, one of the best dubs. Fantastic dubs. Fantastic dubs. 
But let me like like you know the list is um, uh, Dragon Ball Z. Uh, I can't uh, see um, Japanese Goku's voice. I'm sorry. Yeah, I've I've come I've 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 been forced to get used to it because of um, fighters. Oh. Um, but but yeah, I much prefer Sean Shamel. Um, yes, yeah, so yeah, Dragon Ball Z, um, um, Cowboy Bebop, Full Metal Alchemist. Um, um, there's one more, I think, that's of the, like, the original, the original, like, list. And there's, there are new ones that are on that list now, but, like, at least for now, I'll, I'll give it, I'll give these three. The three were, the three great dubs was Dragon Ball Z, um, uh, Cowboy Bebop, and Full Metal Alchemist. Okay. I still have yet to watch Cowboy Bebop. Uh, you know what I'm gonna say. You know what I'm gonna say. No, just that you should. The yeah. show is very good. <laughs> hey, that soundtrack is like really good. Like actually, like I've like I've listened to it like a fair amount. It's really, really is good. Is it weird for me to be reluctant to do so because I have an ex that was like super crazy obsessed with it? That's so I just, so I just have like some residual resentment. That's fair. But well, I would argue it's just a good thing, and that I, most people. Don't here's what I'll it. say. No, no. I, here's what I will say. All right, because you haven't watched it though. That X, whatever that X, that X, all all they did was take the idea of of of, of Cowboy Bebop. They haven't tainted the content of Cowboy Bebop. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So so um, so you should still be good. Okay. Shows good. Shows very good. Probably just have to um, there's also a, um, a quote-unquote sequel series. Um, Isn't there like a movie too? Oh yeah, there's a movie. Oh, the movie's the movie's fantastic. The movie's just like a one big long episode of the show, and it's it's probably the best episode. <laughs> uh, nice. um, but uh, there's a um, spiritual successor series called uh, Samurai Champloo. Oh whoops! I'm gonna pack. I'll be right back. All right, go grab your package. Do you guys, do you guys want to hear some, 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 some stuff on my soundboard? We should be riding this that of riffing. Oh, it's dumb. My soundboard's dumb. Something about using soundboards? Yep. My freaking headphones always freak out whenever I go out of range, so all I heard was just like mm -hmm. constant beeping. <laughs> we should be riding this that of riffing. Slayer. <laughs> uh, is this a custom one you made, or is it just one you found? Yeah, on the... custom one. Nice. Still adding to it. But yeah, um, Samurai Shampoo is really good. So, 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 um, so Cowboy Bebop is sci-fi and jazz. Uh, Samurai Shampoo is samurais and hip hop. Nice. I have, I have like good. a, I have like a little meme folder that I have in my Streamlabs, which I can't really activate when I'm playing. I'd have to like have it as like a second computer. I have a couple things in there, like. Um, mm -hmm. Have you ever played Mega Man X4? Is is that the one am I fighting for? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I, I still need to figure out like how to like have to like trigger shit like that. So that way I don't have. To. I I got some fun ones. I got EA Sports. It's in the game. <laughs> I got uh. Nice. Um. Hey, googly moogly. <laughs> Lost the lead. Uh, I love <laughs> you for that. Oh my god, um... Uh... We gotta... That's it. That's all that's there. How are you even doing that through uh, Discord so that I'll, I can hear it? Uh, I'm using voice mod. Okay. Yeah, it's a really, it's a really good one. 
Is that just like an extension you put in a Discord or? Just a, it's just an app that um um that 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 just puts out a microphone output that Discord picks up. Oh okay. Yeah. You out. need to be stopped. <laughs> You're, you're ugly. You are disgusting. I'm gonna kill you. Give me two hundred dollars. What a fucking Weasley little liar, dude. Mm. Also, a bunch of others that I probably shouldn't play on your stream. <laughs> Uh. Cybers are too fucking deadly on PC. That's probably like the only thing that's unbalanced. Oh mm. uh, uh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Cause like the point of that reticule being so freaking tiny mm -hmm. the controller is that it's supposed to be fucking hard, and it's not really that hard. Yeah. Or it's just point and click. Generally not good with flying with mouse controls. Yeah, especially with Halo. Oh, I've had rants about how much I hate Halo driving. Like, I feel like the best way to do it would probably be have a controller nearby and just swap whenever you get into a vehicle. I know my friend likes to do that for Call of Duty, but it locks you in once you start the match, so you can't swap. Like, like, mm. the, like the RC car controls for one of the uh, yeah. kill streaks, it's just t totally fucked with mouse and keyboard. Mm. Like barely functions. Mm. Yeah, I got a couple other sounds that are like have like history in the FGC, but would probably be considered toxic now. But like, damn, they're good though. Yeah. <laughs> you got thuggery. Damn. Oh, I'm the only one on my team. That's why I'm getting fucking trashed out. I don't want to deal with this. I'm good. Oh, damn. Oh, so that's what that means. I see. That is annoying. Yeah. Do you think they would rebalance? You would imagine. Also, controversial... Maybe there's a controversial opinion. I don't like Griff Ball at all. I don't really... Yeah, that's fair. I'm not really... I think it I like... really gained traction because it was... Uh, I like Griff. This blue thing. Griff's a fun character. Griff's a funny dude. Not, not, not sure if I want his ball, though. No. Man. Can't... Man, Bernie... Bernie... Bernie Burns said something like 10 years ago. About... About... Uh, um... Um... Uh, Red versus Blue. And he said... Uh, we'll continue to make it until people stop watching it, and then we'll make another season after that. <laughs> Damn, he wasn't kidding. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, I still really like the uh, the Blood Gulch seasons or whatever. Oh yeah. But once they brought in on, uh, Monty, they they basically just went full, just like let's just make action scenes. And I mm-hmm. I, I don't know, like that that's not the appeal. And like and they don't even have him anymore because he unfortunately passed away. Mm-hmm. But I don't much care for the new writing. Yeah, that's fair. I still think season. I feel. I, I still feel like season ten is a cathartic place to stop. Remind me what happens in season ten. Uh, you get to see the director. I think I remember. Yeah, I think that's a cathartic place to stop. It's only two seasons of the action Time. stuff. Um. I think that's like, a lot of stop. Like, like once they transition to like into. Mm-hmm. I think it was, it was Halo 4. That's when I stopped watching. Like whatever season started with that. Cause like, yeah, how, yeah. How do you how do you, how do you scale season, down or season, up after that? Season 10 is either. I'm pretty sure it's Reach. Actually, I think. I think season 10 is still Reach. I think it's either. I think some of, like their character models that they use. I think are still based off of, like Halo 3. Maybe. Yeah. Oh wait, you know what? You're right. It is. I, th- I think it. I think it is Halo Three. You still I think you're right. I don't know if they ever fully transitioned into Reach. But maybe for like some. They did. I'm pretty. I, I think they. I'm pretty. I remember them doing that. I think I stopped before they transitioned to Halo Four. Yeah. Um. But yeah. I think. Yeah. Season Ten. I think is a, a nice cathartic place to end it. Um, it's 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 the end of the it's the end of the whole arc, the whole church arc and everything, and then you can just like all right, and then, and then the show ended. The end. Yeah. <laughs> we call it bleach syndrome. Did you ever um, you ever watch that H Bomber guy video on uh, Ruby? I did not. Um, just because like I I know a lot of it because you know. Um, I have a friend, you know, Nexus, um, is familiar with Ruby, and, like, she's like, yeah, the h Bomber guy video is annoying because, as a Ruby fan, these are everything that I know and complain about constantly. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, that's, I can understand that being annoying. I think I watched, like, the first season of Ruby, and it, it was, like, even at the time, it definitely wasn't mm. my thing, and, you know, people like what they like. Mm. You know, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, of course. I think I think it's like a fairly decent con- deconstruction of like some of, of, of elements that don't. Mm-hmm. I remember. Um, I think. Cause so I was, I fell off before the show started. I fell off by the by. Um, I fell off of Rooster Teeth like completely. Yeah, like around when W, like the W trailer came out. Is around when I is when is around when I pretty much fell off a of Rooster Teeth. I don't even know and what it's... it was. I think because I used to watch like every single video that fucking went up on mm-hmm. the website. Mm-hmm. Um, like I watched all the Let's Plays. I watched all of uh, Red vs. Blue. Like, I think it was basically once Ruby season one was done. That's kind of when I was just like, eh, I'm okay. I think I'm okay. It's really interesting too because like. I think I th- I don't even want to put it down just like, oh, they sold out to the man. It's like, whatever, I don't no. care about that kind of thing. Yeah. But I think there's just a bit of a personality change. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so with Ruby, um, I'm sorry, with, uh, with, with it's really funny because I have a friend who's who's um, a few years younger than me. And when, like when he talks about Rooster Teeth and Red vs. Blue, he's talking about like Let's Play and like, um, like, and, like uh, Ray... Them. And everything, yeah, and like to me, like and when like like him compared to me, who like listened to the podcast a lot and everything, like Jack is still a new person. Jack Patillo from Rooster Teeth is still a new person. Yeah, he's still the new to me. on the block to, to be too. Yeah. I I was back when it was a drunk tank, man. Mm-hmm. Same, same. I listened to the first hundred episodes legitimately like four or five times. I, f- I feel like this is going to sound like unnecessarily mean and maybe even part of the reason why I stopped uh, watch, uh, watching or listening to stuff. Okay. I, th- I think there was just a point with the Rooster Teeth podcast. I'm just like, 60% of this is, t- is like airport stories. And it just yeah. kind of felt a bit more like 
a I can tell you from me. I'm, I'm a Joe Schmo. I'm like in my first semester of college working at Walmart. This sucks ass. Oh, see, for me, I, I really resonated with airport stories because, you know, my, my, my mom and dad separated and, you know, I moved across the country. So I visited my dad every year by flying as an unaccompanied minor. So for like a lot of those airport stories, I, I was able to, um, I was able to feel, um, for me, for me, um, it was, I, I actually remember it really, really fondly. I was, I was listening to the Rooster Teeth podcast and it started and it was Miles, Terry, uh, um, 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 uh, Barbara and Gavin. And I was on the podcast. I was like, you know, I'm good. I just haven't listened to it since. <laughs> I think um, that was like five years ago. I mean, I, I think like this is like my general point. Just like yeah, there's plenty of podcasts like I've kind of stopped, like maybe even gone back to over the years, mm -hmm. just like on and off, just because it's like yeah, I'm just not enjoying this. I don't need like necessarily <laughs> crap on them, but I yeah I just choose not to. This is not. I'm just not feeling it. And uh, what Wait, it is actually, you know for what? me? It, it was the because um, at this point I wasn't even like actively like watching Rooster Teeth content. But do you remember? I think we even talked about it on the podcast, the whole Rooster Teeth uh, Fallout thing, like going for uh, oh Gersman. yeah, that was such yeah on the a patch bad look. on the patch. Oh, it's so funny. Like I, I it's gave so funny. Like on one level, it's like okay, so there's like the new person, which I believe was Meg, and then there was Ryan, mm -hmm. and then the, like Gus. Well, like, there's dude, Ryan. You've been there forever. You should know better, dude. Oh yeah, Ooh, fucking Ryan, Ryan, fucking fucking pedo over there. <laughs> <laughs> that 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 has aged so much worse. Oh, <laughs> you know what's funny? That one podcast segment is still like one of the highest things on the channel. <laughs> um. Yeah, uh, what am I that, saying? that's bad. But yeah, just the um, whole like shitting on um, mm -hmm. you know, getting a low score. Just on like, Giant Bomb. He just wants to be spe like unique or whatever. He wants to be like this mm -hmm. uh, bourgeois uh, reviewer <laughs> while they're they're fully decked out and fucking Fallout mm -hmm. swag and they're getting like paid sponsorship and advertisements and videos on their website. I'm just like, uh, I'm, I think yeah. I'm good. Hey, Kyle's back. Go. Oh. You're right. Uh, huh. um, yeah, for me, also, a part of it was I also kind of um, leveled up is a bad term. I think it's a, not the best term, but I, I can't think of anything else I to still say. I think of that fucking, I think it's a Law & Order episode where you're just like, what did this person do? He leveled up. Leveled up. Did you watch the Incel episode? No, I haven't. Oh, it's so good. It's Chad's and Stacy's. Stacy's and oh, Chad's. Actually, Winners of the genetic lottery. Actually, no, 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 no. I have seen it because my girlfriend's obsessed with SVU. And she's been like uh, watching all the seasons. And I think I know the one you're talking about, yeah. Oh, it's so funny. Anyway, so yeah, for me, it was. Um, I also, like, I kind of leveled up <laughs> in my video game discussion, too, because I started listening to the best friends. I started watching and listening to the best friends, and they just had they had an analysis, and also cared more about what I cared about from video games, mm -hmm. to the point where like. I think that's basically where like, I am. Where. Yeah. I like. I, I want to talk about like why. Oh my like, god, games that's terrifying. Work, design elements are good. Why like more content is mm -hmm. good. It's... Mm -hmm. And it's like, like on the Rooster Teeth podcast, they would be like, "Bro, why did anyone play the Wii?" <laughs> when on like, it when was like, like super surface level, and then just like, oh dude, yeah. Actually, you know what? I remember there was one like at the time. I'm pr I don't know if I'd feel about it now. When the uh, the whole Xbox One drama was going on about the always on, they were just mm -hmm. like, well, "Why do you care? Everyone has internet nowadays. There's no reason to be upset." I'm just like. Yeah, like, you know, one, Jack, like, yeah. Like, like, on one thing, it's like, that, that's already done a good look, but then, like, yeah. this, is all, this is, like, ostensibly a Xbox-partnered company, and just, like, mm -hmm. that comes off a little skeevy. It does. Absolutely, it does. Shoot. 
Yeah, but just going, just leaving like that almost like dude bro mentality to just like just shut up and enjoy video games was, was really was really good. Yeah. And now I hate them, so it's uh, full circle. <laughs> I don't hate them. I'm just I'm just kind of I think I'm just done. I think I'm I think I'm finally at the age where I'm just like. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't need what they offer anymore. Well, I think there's, like, room for, like, positivity, like, like, you don't have to talk about negative stuff if you don't want to, but there's also just, like, completely over-the-top positive everything, and just, like, that, that's not for me. Yeah. Like, I, I don't want to be, like, a pessimist about every single little thing, but... Mm hmm Absolutely. It's, it actually kind of reminds me of how, I, like, like, Marvel movie discourse online. Where it's like, like the like the the, the 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 like the hate it gets from film circles is really annoying, but then the the the, the adoration it gets from the MCU circles is also just as annoying. Yeah, <laughs> it's just I just wanted to enjoy this film and go home. All right, I'm not trying. I'm not, I'm sure. not trying to I'm not to sure make this a part of my to, life. I'm not sure there's a good way to put it, but. I don't care for zeros and tens discourse. I want to hear those sevens. I, I want to hear absolutely. The I, I want to hear hey, the guess, peaks. I want to hear the good. Hey, guess what? You know what? I'm gonna hey guess some of the best video games are sevens and eights out of tens. Hell yeah. You know what Mirror's Edge one is? Like a seven point five out of ten, and also amazing. I would, I would have to replay it. Yeah. But I, I would agree with you. Great concept. Fantastic. I completely agree. Let's see, who else did I used to watch a lot? Yeah, I watched the creatures a lot. Um, um So that's like, you know, uh Uber Hack Sarnova. It's just James now. He used to be part of Cow Chop. Which is dead now, I just realized. Um I just remembered. Um, oh man, I was so big into the creatures. I was never really big in like game games. I honestly never I... liked Dodgeron, so that whole uh, <laughs> white supremacy thing never really hit me hard. So I'm just like, oh, it's oh, I was liked. that made me sad. That did make me sad. Um, so like for me, this is okay. This is gonna sound so fucking dumb. Um, so Game Grum started the day I got back from I think my junior year of, of band camp. So, so I remember getting home, sitting down on my computer, and saying, "Oh, uh, Eager Raptor uploaded a video what a rare about oh he started he he started a new channel with someone named John Tron. I think I've heard of them before." Oh, that's cool. They put out three episodes, and I fell asleep during the first episode and, and went to bed yeah. and started watching Game Grumps. Um, so the, the, the yeah, so the, there's the John split, um, and then Danny came in, and then I fell in love with Danny. Danny's just Danny's a nice... Such a good dude. Danny's such a nice man. <laughs> and then I, I, I fell out of love with... The, oh, I, I, I never was in love... To begin with, but I just I just started hating Aaron. He I think would just... be a bit grating at times. Oh, absolutely. Like, he still strikes um, me as a good dude. It's just I think yeah. It is what it is with the job. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm I'm kind of sad that Steam Train's over because it was just Danny and Ross, is and that Ross was such a good. Anymore? No, no, no. He 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 left because he he left. Um, he left game rooms and then he left that even even that area. Oh really? He moved. He moved and then um, and then the stuff happened. Because we find because like what well, it was like he moved. He um he and Holly split up, and then oh. like a year later, the pro Jared stuff came out. I was just about to bring that shit up. Yeah. That's someone I used to watch a lot. Oh. I was like... Hey, Can I like, say you know, something? Like, say yeah, something that... He's, he's got his fucking receipts now, but it's still just Five fucking minutes weird, remaining. Oh, there's... Why would you put yourself in that position? I... I'm not a drama person. 
I'm not a trauma I was person at Dude, I was at Disneyland and I was still looking that shit but, up on lines. Oh, it was so sweet. Oh, it was so good. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, cause like part of it was also that um, um about a uh, a few months prior the the super best friends broke up and we don't know what happened yeah it was the, it was literally just one night they put up a video and they were said and and you know the woolly said Matt and Pat are no longer friends and we were splitting up and. Because the details were so prevalent in the pro Jared situation, it made it made it made like it made. I I didn't feel the need to question what happened with the best friends anymore. Mm-hmm. I got I got I got I got all my catharsis from from <laughs> from pro Jared because it was all out. Everything was out. That was the time. I think like the oldest channel or like content creator I think I still watch is um, it's a dude named Jeff that runs Rage Select, and he was mm-hmm. from uh, he ran like the video game portion of uh, of it was uh, Spill.com. They were like a movie review site. They would have like yeah like, yeah animations. Yeah yeah, yeah, so, yeah. I follow so, uh, I follow uh, Corey Coleman. Yeah, and. Um, so like now they're they're doing Slay double toasted guy. and then rage like mm-hmm. like I th- I think in terms of perseverance I think like Jeff is like the fucking dude on the internet and like he's he's even kind of been out there like yeah they don't get the views that they used to um, still kind of checking along with uh, some form of a day job but damn dude puts out content so fucking consistent dude's insane oh, yeah. mm. he's got that Patreon game on fucking lockdown. And for me, the per I, I've been like for me, it's been a real shift into fighting games, just because there's an aspect to it that's also learning, mm-hmm. and also and also like a lot of tech tubers. I also follow a lot of tech tubers. I like to think I know some part of tech. Like I know like what cards are good, what's not, but like all the in depth stuff, I'm just. I'm just lost in the weeds. Mm-hmm. That's why I love, um... That's why I love, like, reading stuff so much. Like, like that's why, like... Like, I'm able to... That's why I'm able to pull out, you know, an 8700K as a, as a, as a six-core processor without even thinking, you know? I don't even know how many um, cores mine has. I just know it's pretty fucking It's weird. ten! See, even you... You know my fucking processor better than I do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, in politics, I follow a lot of politics stuff now. I have I have fallen off a bit with the politics ever since mm-hmm. the uh, the election. The election. I mean, I it's watch, fair. Like, some YouTubers. It's nice. I, mean, I, I don't watch nearly as many as much YouTube as I used to. It's just like you know. I think my biggest issue with a lot of like leftist content on the internet is that a lot of it. A, a lot of it is is mired in ignorance. And a disdain for trying to learn something better, almost. Um, so, like, like a lot of people are really angry at, um, you know, like, like the president and stuff, and like government for how long it took to pass the coronavirus bill. Mm-hmm. When, act when you know, granted, they did a terrible job explaining this. But this, they actually passed this as fast as they could have. Right. Um, um, and the fact that, yeah, they were able to get a $1.9 trillion stimulus package in, like, two months is really good. Right. And the reason why the, um, the reason why the, uh, the impeachment happened before the stimulus vote is that the impeach the impeachment was the last thing of the previous senate and the and the and the the stimulus was the first thing of the next senate right but you know they did such a terrible job explaining that 
And so, you know, stuff well, like plus, that. I, it I'm, also I'm helps that you have a bit of a ear on the wall from uh, your place of a True. 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 Oh, I have a friend. I have a friend that's a lawyer. Oh, she's trying to become a lawyer. And uh, it's, it's fun for him to, like, say a name. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I think I zoomed them. Because of the Saba event. There we go. Okay. Right, that's probably going to do the stream for now. Got to go eat and then Valorant. <laughs> Sorry. You okay? Literally said, that's going to do the stream for now. And the notification that popped up said, the Master Chief Collection has finished installing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, I, I, I'll come back and play a little bit after I eat, just with you. I mean. <sighs> I'll have to see what's happening now anyway, so... Okay. Anyway, I'll, 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 I'll try to do something at some point. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, yeah. Talk to you later, man. Yep, see you later, man.